Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're doing well today. We're going to show you guys how you can get all your URLs from a specific target and check if they're actually valid. Now if you have a URL, if you have a target like for example google.com, um, you can have a URI in there as well. So google.com slash for example search, which we bring you to the search page and that is a specific URI. Now there are many URIs <coughs> on google.com and we want to find them all. There are several different sources that we can uh, that we can go through ourselves, but we can also use a tool. For example, there's this tool called get U all URLs and it will do all this work for you. Uh, it will go through alien vault, it will go to wayback URLs, it will go to the wayback machine uh, and it will get all of these URLs for you. Now what we're doing with this command is we're getting all of these URLs and we're putting them in a specific text file, domains.txt. Uh, let's kill this tool for now. If we cut this domains.txt file, you can see that we have a whole lot of URLs in here. Now we need to know if these URLs are valid. And of course we're not going to go through them one by one manually. There are tools for that as well. There's an awesome tool that Tom Nam Nam wrote called HD probe and we're going to use it right now. So to get these results, we first need to get rid of the protocol in here. So we're going to do that. Let's open the TMP folder right now. There we go. And let's just drag this domains.txt folder in here. Now I'm just using Visual Studio Code because it's easiest for me. And then I'm just going to do a replace all. And I'm going to replace all HTTPS's in here and all HTTPs with nothing, there we go, removing all of the protocols. And we don't have any protocols in here anymore. Now that we've done that, we can return to our command line and in here, let's clear our screen real quick. And now we're going to use htprobe. To use it, you need to, first of all, cat your text file, and then you need to pipe it to htprobe. And what we're doing with this command is actually adding a dash C and this parameter is going to be for concurrent threads. So we're actually going to be telling HTTPROPE to run 50 concurrent threads. And then we're going to output the output from HTTPROPE in working.txt. Now let's run this file real quick and we're going to go back to our folder structure right here. And we're going to have a new file in here, working.txt. Now if we open this file, let's open it real quick, we're going to get a whole bunch of URLs. Now these URLs should all be valid, so they should at least bring you to, uh, let's see here, let's add this domain as trusted domain. They should at least bring you to google.com and redirect you somewhere or give you a 200 OK status code. Let's see what happens now in this URL. I think we're probably going to be redirected somewhere, so let's see what happens. But this is how you get all of your working URLs from a giant list of non-working, of possibly working, possibly not working URLs. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody!